Hi friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about target element validation feature. While you are doing UI automation, it is always advisable to learn to know about the validation score, how best this uh, target element suits or fits to your requirement. Whatever target you have selected while identifying the element UI element is correct or not. So to find this, we need a validation score. We need an option to validate whether the target is correct or not. So there, we already learned about the target methods. We already learned about the anchors, what, what all been available in UI automation using UiPath Studio, right? We have some fizzy selector, uh, strict selector, image and different kinds of anchors. Even in anchors also, we have the methods, right? So there are multiple combinations being used by UiPath while identifying a target UI element. So let us move on to the UiPath Studio and um, let me use uh, an application say double UI. You are already uh, aware of this double UI application, right? If you are not, I will share you the link to download this double UI. This is an application provided by UiPath for learning purpose okay you can find this in UiPath Academy we even in our channel we have multiple practice sessions on this UiPath uh, learning app okay so now my I'll be using the same application to teach you about this <coughs> target element validation feature now let us use use application browser in this use application browser, I am going to indicate our application. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, since some other uh, uh, same kind of um, application is available in repository, it is throwing this window. So reuse it. So I am going to use this now. I would like to have a type into activity into this. So I am using a type into now I would like to indicate honest check okay so when when I click on this honest check it will be automatically giving the available selectors the available target methods along with the anchor okay so even in anchor also we have the selectors so this been automatically identified so let us see the validation score in selection options window we have a button called validate so when we click on this validate it will give a validation score of this particular selection now let us see what it is checks the validity of all possible combinations of technologies anchors and targets and gives a score based on how many correctly identified the target so let us click on this Super, it has given 100%. So, our target is always to reach the 100% score. Now, for better understanding, I'll make a change in any of these selectors. You already know the target methods, right? We have multiple target methods, selector, fuzzy selector, image and all. So, let us disturb something. So, just imagine if suppose the target is not able to give correct score so see the score now it is changed to 67 because if you see the symbol next to this target method this says this method failed to identify an element so whenever you see this symbol you can easily recognize you can easily find that this is failed to identify an element next move on to this symbol this symbol says this method was the first to correctly identify the target before we make the change you could see that this says strict selector says that this is the first to correctly identify the target right and then this is one more symbol successfully identify the target so whenever you see the stick mark this symbol this icon you can understand that this particular method got successfully identified the target and one more we can have is 
duplicate one i'll show you one more selector which says the duplicate i'll give you an example for now let us disturb this and let us use validate then let me give you one example say say for uh, for suppose let us change this for c if we use this show all matches it, it it is showing some only one okay let us use image this is also showing one okay let us move on to anchor image i think it should give two right so now when i click on validate it should give two right okay let us remove these two target even in target also i'll select two okay let us use this searching for target selectors okay fine let us click on validate it gave 100 percent i'll i'll give an example for duplicate okay let me cancel this let indicate in this and then i'm going to select this without without any anchor say for example now if you see the accuracy just click on validate so without any anchor i just try to check the valid validation score it shows 67 percent only okay so now our target is to go for 100 percent so that whatever target we are using is the right <coughs> uh, right one in ui automation <coughs> so what it says it says first one this symbol says this method was the first to correctly identify the target and this says it has successfully identified the target properly and yes they this is what we are looking for so this symbol says this method return multiple elements and fail to correctly identify the target so whenever you encounter this kind of um, icon it straight away this says like there are multiple elements been identified so when whenever whenever this particular target been selected there is there are multiple elements with the same kind of image so that is the reason it has thrown this kind of icon okay so now you could see in selection options it is giving some suggestion to how uh, how we can make this score to 100 percent so it says duplicate matches found with whatever uh, methods we have so far so we have some strict selector fuzzy and image so far but out of this if we go ahead with these it says there are multiple matches found there are duplicate matches found in order to make this score 100 percent we are the, it automatically give, given a suggestion saying try adding an anchor to discriminate between similar elements so it is asking us to provide an anchor so that you can avoid the duplicates so now i would like to give one anchor okay now let's see target and anchors okay hit enter to confirm so it is giving some information so whenever there is no anchor and even though my target element is proper even though i selected a right target element it says it has given a warning right what kind of warning it gave duplicate matches form please try adding an anchor right 
so whenever i gave an anchor it has given a hundred percent score you could see this so this way we can use the validation option here in selection options in order to give appropriate target okay i hope you got the meaning of this validation target validation option feature which is available in uipath studio along with the meaning of these icons okay so if you find this as useful video you can share this with your friends and colleagues and for more videos please do subscribe our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon with selecting all thank you so much for your support let us meet through some some more practice sessions thank you